Hi, this is Chef Kaz, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a low-carb garlic and herb cheese chicken casserole. This is a great high-performance alternative to a traditional comfort food. So you're going to start with your hot pan, put a little bit of olive oil spray and some olive oil, add your carrots in. We want to stir those around consistently, developing some color. The color is going to be flavor. Then add in your zucchini, same idea here. Add in a little bit more olive oil, one to two tablespoons as needed and then continue progressively adding in your vegetables, just keeping in mind that the softer the vegetable, the quicker it's going to cook, okay? Um, I'm gonna add my seasonings, my salt, freshly ground black pepper, a little bit of red chili flakes. I've also got some fresh herbs and dried herbs here, and just add those things in progressively developing the flavor as you like. After I've added in my cabbage, I'm gonna set this off to the side and just have it ready to go for me when I'm gonna add it to my chicken. Keep in mind, I've already got my casserole dish in the oven under the broiler getting hot. I got my second pan preheated, ready to go. I'm gonna blast that on full heat, get the pan really hot, finish it with a little bit of olive oil spray just before I'm ready to put my chicken in and then throw my chicken in. I wanna cook out the moisture at this point. I wanna see a color development all along the outside, the periphery of the chicken. Once I've got that done, then I'm gonna add a little bit, one to two tablespoons more olive oil and just crisp up and finish the browning on the outside of the chicken. I'm gonna take my vegetables that I pre-cooked before. I've also got my onions that I had pre-made earlier in the week, so that's easy, ready to go, so I don't have to do it each new time that I'm cooking. And I'm gonna add all these components together. Once I've got the vegetables and the chicken pretty much all cooked up, nice color, I'm gonna turn my heat all the way down or even off and put my garlic paste on. The reason for this is if the pan is too hot, you will burn the garlic paste and pretty much ruin the flavor. Same idea here with the goat cheese. Put that in, stir it all up to a homogeneous consistency, evenly mixed. I'm gonna pull my casserole dish out, and then you're gonna take all of your components, put it right into the casserole dish, finish it back in the oven, and develop a nice brown color, crispy outside. When you've got it to the texture, the appearance, the color that you like, pull it out, you can finish it with some fresh herbs, uh, some mozzarella, any other additional items that you want to add to it. 